Zena. Or your princess. Climber of 12,000 foot hills. <laughs> when you were born in China or wherever, Japan, wherever Suzuki is, I don't even know. Did you ever think that you were going to be riding up Trail Ridge Road at 12,000 feet? Seeing all this cool stuff? I bet not. I bet you're glad you're... You're not some bike that just gets rode to work every day. Yeah, I mean, those are cool bikes, but ho-hum, so boring. Have you ever taken a ride like this to avoid traffic? Because that's, uh, that seems pretty nutso to me. But one of the best ideas I think Stacy has ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you get to ride up here to avoid traffic. That's 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 baller. <laughs> this is a Colorado baller move. Hey, let's go take Trail Ridge Road through Rocky Mountain National Park so we don't have to wait in traffic with all the other holiday people for hours and hours and hours. But see here, this is a prime example. Um, this is probably not Beetle Kill. Uh, I'm thinking no. I think that's just altitude. Right? Like you see how like small and sickly all the trees look. Like they are like right at right at tree line. But I mean they they look like bonsai trees. The little ones down here. Like check out this little sickly looking thing. Yeah, poor tree. You know, and that one. And they get all like smashed by the wind. And so none of this. Look, I can point to the edge of the road. That's pretty cool. That would be one hell of a jump. All right, well, let's uh, let's keep both hands on the handlebars, what do you say? But we will stand up so you guys can see a little better. Little peeky peek through the rocks. Such a cool landscape, man. So cool. So I was trying to think of a story to tell you guys, and I think I came up with a pretty good one. Um, <clears throat> when uh, Miss Stacy, we were, when we were still living in State College, so we we're living in State College, Pennsylvania, in a in a townhouse with a couple of roommates. Um, Miss Stacy went on a um, school school trip, school, study abroad. That's the word I'm looking for. She went and studied abroad in Holland. Um, and I had got to missing her a great deal. She was gone for quite a while. Uh, not years or anything, but I don't know, maybe like a month, maybe two months. But yeah, I got to missing her pretty bad and I had been considering it and whatnot. But, uh, I took a ride out to her Graham's house. Uh, it's from State College to where the Stewart clan lives is, oh, I don't know, two and a half hours, maybe three. And uh, I went out and actually cruised down Stewart Lane. I, oh, no, 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 she's going to yell at me. It's not Stewart Lane. Um, I went to her aunt's house, which is where her grandmother was staying because her aunt was sick. And uh, her grandmother was taking care of her. I forget what the name of that road is. But anyway, rode out there, went and talked to Graham. And I mean, I was poor. I was working at AccuWeather. And AccuWeather, uh, whoa, whoa, I don't want to get into that. AccuWeather just does not pay well. So I was network operations for AccuWeather, and I was the po. And I mean po, po. <laughs> just making rent. And uh, rent and beer money, that's it. All right, yeah, and the internet, yeah, to play games and stuff. All right, but that's another point. Back to the story. So I go and I, I surprise Graham, and she's just, she's an amazing woman. She, she knows your family, all of the ailments they've ever had. She knows their friends, their family. I mean, she knows everybody in the entire world and any ailment that they have ever had, all their kids and whether their kids are nice or bad or... She knows everybody and has an opinion on everything, and you can just sit there and talk to her for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. 
I love talking to her. <laughs> so, uh, so I go and I say, hey, Graham, um, oh, first of all, no, 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 hold on, let me jump back. I'm really bad at telling stories. I always get to a part and then I jump forward and uh, blah, blah, blah. First, uh, I went over to Stace's dad's house and her dad was not there. Um, he's, uh, he's a man of many means, so who knows where he was, but I called him before I went over and saw Graham. And I asked permission to marry his daughter. And uh, he said yes, and that was awesome. Uh, that's, that's a big thing to me. I'm very traditional and very, uh, <clears throat> have very old school values. Raised by parents from the depression, so they, they brought me up. They brought me up right, you know? Uh, as right as they could. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm right. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> so I go over to Graham's house and I say, hey, Graham, you know, look, I'm a poor college age kid and I can't afford to get her what's really nice. I said, I've heard you say many times, and uh, before her husband, who everybody called Pap, died, you know, I heard both of them say, you know, she has all this jewelry and she never wears it. She's got all kinds of diamonds and gold rings and all kinds of stuff. And I, and I said, Graham, uh, this is kind of an awkward question to ask, but do you have uh, a nice diamond ring that would make a good engagement ring for Stace? And, you know, she, when she got done crying that her, her little girl was getting married, because like I said, she was, she was kind of raised by her grandparents, even though her father was around. She was pretty much raised by her grandparents, lived in their house. And, uh, Graham, you know, gets all excited, misty-eyed, and yes, oh my god, Jeff, you're wonderful, but, you know, on and on and on. She goes, hang on, give me a minute. She goes and she's, uh, she pulls out this bag, like, a, it's just a big spread bag that, like, folds out many times, and starts rooting around, and there's, like... <laughs> all these earrings and I mean these aren't you know the these aren't super wealthy people but but apparently she liked jewelry and over her lifetime amassed a large collection of very nice jewelry and she actually pulls out her daughter's first uh, wedding ring and engagement band and like five or six others and she's like you know, take your pick. You're welcome to anything here. I would love for Stacy to wear it. I know she would. She would love it. And uh, I'm so glad you asked. But that was the one that I picked. Was um, was Janie's? Uh, all right. So uh, Stacy's mother's. Wait, no, no, no. Graham's daughter, which would then be Stacy's what? I don't know, y'all figure it out. Um, but apparently they spent a lot of time together. And she was like, Stace would absolutely love to have Janie's wedding band and whatnot. And it, and it is gorgeous. I, I loved it. And I was like, that's perfect. It's small for her tiny little pinkies because she's got tiny little pinkies. And uh, so I picked that one out from Graham and she, uh, you know, she's like, just get it cleaned up. It's It hasn't been worn in, in quite a while. It might need looked at by a jeweler which it did and I took it down and uh, I remember stopping right here and climbing up on those rocks right there and there's a pretty cool view from up there Stacy's way behind me but um yeah so I I didn't have that much time to take it to a jeweler and get it fixed So I, uh, Stace came back, and uh, the day she came back, I went and um, went and got a bottle of champagne and uh, some some nice snacks. I think I got some chocolate covered strawberries. I'm not sure, uh, but I got something. And uh, we went up to our favorite spot in State College, which was uh, an overlook that we we dubbed sexy. <laughs> There's a, there's a big rock. I mean, it's just literally a road that goes down to a huge overlook sort of like this. I mean, the mountains aren't nearly as grand, but sort of like this. And uh, just a spot sort of like that. 
uh, just out in the middle of nowhere in a, in a, in a park out there. And uh, brought out some camp chairs and I'm sat there and as the sun was setting, <laughs> very timidly, <laughs> I don't get choked up very often, you guys know I can't shut up, but I got all choked up and <laughs> and asked, asked Miss Stacy to, to marry me. And uh, lucky for me, she said yes. <laughs> <laughs>